So if you have a 2003 or a 2004 Honda Pilot, um, your Pilot has a automatic transmission filter that looks something like this. It's a canister one. Uh, the 05s have a cartridge style, and then I believe after the 06s or the 7s, they're in the gearbox. Um, Non-serviceable. This one, thankfully, should be serviceable uh, for the most part. Uh, if you have a manual like this, uh, you can just throw it in that garbage can because it doesn't say anything about this at all that the car has one. However, I will show you where and how to get to it. So take a mental picture of this um, because you'll need it to figure out where it is. I'll grab a screwdriver here and attempt to point it out. So you'll need to remove your battery and your uh, breather tube. Uh, and then follow me into the engine bay here. So you will most likely need to remove this battery tray to get to it. Um, and if you can, let me turn the screen back on. If you can see this thing that I'm pointing at, um, right over here, this tube shaped, this is your filter right here. Uh, so to get to it, uh, it's a little tricky. There are two bolts right here. There's one here. There's one down here uh, By the bracket and then you disconnect this part that the brackets are holding in And then I believe you disconnect this bolt right here. There's a bolt uh, uh, Let's see bolt right here, and then you stick a uh, a nut or a, a wrench on here and twist it off as you can see mine's currently right here the new one so i'm about to to break it loose and uh hope for the best because it's such a bad spot to get into to try and remove or replace it but at least it has one that's the that's the positive so after digging through my wrench piles i finally found a wrench that fits it's a 24 size 24 mil so it's uh and it's a good fit so it is definitely a 24. if you've done um the outer tie rod ends on a civic before you'll likely have this if not i think they're 12 dollars at your local menards or home depot so not too big of an expense but not many people have something this big um because my set stops at 19 so so one of the challenging parts you're gonna have is removing these two bolts one up here and one down here the only way I've been able to do that is I removed the the uh, bolts for uh, uh, the ABS modulator, and then I took a 10 mil, right? 10 mil, and then uh, where this open end is, I put a 3 8 socket in there, and then you can use the socket as a leverage bar to break that loose. Well, at least it hit the ground. But yeah, the bolts are loose, so now that bracket should be coming off anytime now. Okay, so after some messing around um, using various ratchets, I finally got the two bolts off. And then all you do is you take your uh, wrench here, and then you just shove this part, the hard line, you just shove that part off. Uh, you shove this off, and then you can go ham with your... Uh, with your wrench here, just super hard to film and unwrench it. Okay, hopefully you should be able to see it. I'm just unscrewing it by hand. It's got some long threads on there. That's a lot of threads. Okay, and it's out. Here we have it. Here's the old cartridge. 
And uh, here's the new one that we'll be getting put on. And you can see a little bit of, actually quite a bit of transmission fluid is leaking. So you will need to top off the transmission fluid. And I'll get the new one in before we lose some more. Okay, the new filter is in there. There's no torque settings for this uh, or no, no torque that I could find anywhere. So all you do is you just tighten it to where you think tight is. Um, just don't strip it. Okay, now all that's left to do is put these two bolts back in. Uh, down here and down there, they're both 10 mils. Um, the big nut, 24 mil. Um, after I put these on, I'll see if I can tighten it just a little bit more. It's really tight, but maybe a little more will go. Um, these I'll put back in, they're both 12s. I'll bolt down the battery tray, the two bolts I took off. Um, put the battery back on, put the intake tube back on, and that's just how you swap out your ATF filter. Okay, this is how it looks all done. We got the battery in. I'm not, oh, don't wanna short circuit that yet. I don't have the uh, air box in yet because I'm waiting on a new connector. Mine's cracked. Um, but you can see that filter right down here. Ooh. And there's, if you don't remove the battery in the battery tray, there's no way you're gonna get to it. Yeah, for reference, here it is. There's just no way you're gonna do it without removing the battery. So, hopefully that helps some of you guys uh, figure out how to change your uh, transmission filter on a 03, 04 Honda Pilot, possibly some Odysseys as well. Um, yeah, it's not too hard if you have like half an hour to, to an hour in a variety of 10 mils and a socket wrench, you should be able to do it in not too long.